Advantage right. being played here to Northampton. Grayson. Big wall onto Collins. Here's a chance to run for James. There's that neat little inside ball again for Mitchell. It's almost rehearsed, isn't it? It 100% is. You see him that that. Tamar to Harrison. Smith just grabbing hold of almost a bootlace. Nice stuff here from Worcester. That was Niall Annett carrying it forward. Onto Smith again, who looks up. Sees a lot of green space over in this side. He finds it. Cross comes slight home. They've got that away just in time. Some tired bodies out there. I was going to say, there are some lungs out there which I think are burning just a little bit. Here's Grayson. A bit of pointing. There's Tamana Harrison, he'll be refreshed after 10 minutes or so in the Simba. There's James. Going looking for work. Alterac plays scrum half. Grayson. Slight home. Collins, the two wings combining. Slight home's taking a bit of a knock actually. Looking towards the corner like a stricken boxer. <laughs> Here's Dingwall. Oh, getting through Dingwall. It's a two on one. And nobody's worked harder today than that fella. David Ribbons. He has worked hard and he deserves that try. Lovely, um, lovely from uh, Fraser Dingwall. Just, just nice, hard, straight line in midfield. Tired defenders and, and a simple finish. Well, it's the boxer's nose and the shirt which looks like a butcher's apron. <laughs> And he will go home having scored a try. And now that scoreboard, well, it's one to celebrate for followers of the Saints. Worcester will feel that they've contributed rather more to the contest than that. But that is the brutality of professional sport, I'm afraid. And there's still <laughs> eight and a half minutes to go. It's, um, I said, the boys look tired. Uh, I think the ball in play has been high and... Not, not too many set pieces, particularly second half, and, and I think there's a lot more points to come. Well, it's now the greatest number of points conceded this season by Worcester. Their 12th straight defeat in the league, this will be. It was nice. It? Alex Mitchell and Tom James were looking for a little one-two around the rook just, uh, just now. I wonder if we'll see that again. Finn Smith with the restart. Get on. The most recent try scorer with the catch. He's been good on those restarts, Dave Ribbons. It's a, it's a tough skill, one of the toughest skills in the game, I think, and he's, uh, he's taken some good ball today. It's just a tough skill, an absolutely vital one. How many times do you see teams have scored points immediately conceding them, largely because they've been unable to gather the restart? Here's Freeman. Met by Shonnet. Zamana Harrison. Mitchell. Slide home. Taken down by Batley. Mikey Hayward. Short ball there to Tamana Harrison. Wall, bounce pass to Ezekwe, he comes inside and creates a little bit of additional space for James. This Worcester defence really is stretched now, Paul Hill, powerful carry, on to Ribbons, on to Tamana Harrison, he couldn't quite find Mitchell, and that was gathered by Ashley Beck. Back to Finn Smith, who... Uh, is all the chance to take a deep breath by finding touch. It's, breath. it's, it's just constant. It's, it's a very kind of popular way to train nowadays with just constant ball in play, like high intensity training. It looks like that. It's, it's just relentless. 
We thought the game was in a bit of a crisis in uh, November time with the Autumn Nations Cup. How has it changed? I think everyone watched that and decided they were going to we're going to be do a bit more um no to be fair dry track today and we mentioned the surface it's these artificial surfaces um you know, players aren't massively fond of them because of what they do to the body but they certainly produce good running room here's slight home They're coming back the other way this time there's fraser dingwall on to harrison is Ardendorf leading try scorer this season in the league for northampton he'll want to get in on the act only could protect that status. Harrison. Grayson. Well, look at the numbers out wide. They know if they keep on stretching Worcester, the gaps will open. The old one too. And it is going to be a Gallagher Premiership hat trick for Ollie Slido. It's good. Once, once they'd. Again, we mentioned it before, momentum, and Saints are now getting momentum with these forward carries, and once that back line sets up outside, again, very, very well finished. James Grayson throws a good good miss across there, where the, the more simple ball would have been the obvious one, um, and well finished uh, out wide. Again, Tom James, nicely done. How well did Tommy Freeman do? I don't want to pick him up too much. He's, uh, <laughs> he's only young, he's got a lot to learn. Um, no, he's been superb today. He didn't even start, and, and it's actually worth mentioning. I mean, so many of Saints' star players aren't playing. Um, there's no Proctor, there's no Bigger, there's no Naira Voro. Um, these, um, these guys are performing very, very well, and, and I think those guys know they're going to struggle to get back into the team with how well this team has performed. Well, the talent certainly blooming at the gardens at the moment. Fellas, we're waiting yet. Watch that all day, couldn't you? Okay, it's on. So here's Harrison, still 15 against 13. I rather suspect if this was a boxing contest, the towel would have gone in by now. Grayson. Collins a cry of a forward pass there but the referee is happy with it there's a Zeke one or two Northampton players slightly overrunning but that to regather here goes Coles Mitchell Freeman Paul Hill hint of a step that time Grayson short ball on there to Tom James, Tom James with the arcing run, the neat steps, out of the back of the hand, and it's another. Number four for Ollie Slighthome. Tom James, again, doesn't matter if he's playing nine, just stick him anywhere. God, superb play from him. Um, it's hard to watch, I said it. Worcester have had some good performances and looked so, so good for periods of this play, of this game, but... This fade is, phase is really tough to watch. The Saints just in full kind of Jue mode um, and just wide open spaces and, and fair play to Saints. Their skill levels are high enough that they're, they're taking these chances. And he scored a couple of furloughs today as Oddie Slight home, but that's certainly the easiest of the lot. Just coasting in. Take that as you two minutes, Jacko. Two to go. He's a, he's a sharp winger, he's Ollie Slight Home, and there's, there's plenty of young sharp wingers around the Premiership. I think uh, some riches in that area for England in years to come. Grayson has had a fair amount of kicking practice today. Well, they say you get better with that. There's another super kick from the fly half. It's 
Jason Smith with the restart into the last 100 seconds or so of the match. There's Ardendorf, Grayson, Zique. Look, they're all looking to get in on the app now. Here's Fraser Dingwall. Worcester will want to keep their heads up going through this final defensive set without missing a tackle. There's Tom James just bouncing off a couple of defenders. Ribbons. Anti advantage being played here to Northampton. It'll chip over the top. Paul Hill. Oh, he took that rock nicely. And he got the momentum. He just ran over Chris Pennell. There's Dingwall on here to Ardendorf. There's almost a sense of inevitability about this. Well, that wasn't it, the knock on. Here goes Dodd. I think we've just seen a chip for a tight head prop. <laughs> he did take it rather well, didn't he? Here goes Francois Fenter. Well, will there be one final act of defiance that comes from Worcester right at the end of this game? Just getting dragged down there was Gareth Simpson. The ball fed out, panel to Fenter, and Fenter gets the pass off to Ashley. Oh, and then it's knocked on, and in microcosm, that just about summed up Worcester's day. Well, there may be a twist to this final tale. I think, uh, yeah, I think the rest given it as try is good, so if it's been ripped okay. back, this so will be a good try. Is, uh, try yeah? yeah. Okay. Well, there were all fingers and thumbs on both sides in the end. Try not to speak over the official here, but I think it's right. I think I think the ball's been ripped yeah. back by Nick Alter right there. Um, yeah, so it's going to be a Chris Pennell try. Are we sure he doesn't lose it first? Okay, there you go. Well, look. Looks to me the ball carrier loses it first, and then it goes back. Okay, this is a uh, this is the shot. Flicked back yeah, so he's, by he's White. clearly in control when the ball is flicked back by White 17, and then there's no knock on by Pennell. So let's try. And then the try is good. Yeah. So it's, it's going to count yeah. right yeah. at the right. death. One final act there from Worcester, who at least get into double figures, and they may even narrow the deficit to something less than 50 points if the conversion is successful. It was a good, uh, a good spot by the, I think it was the, the assistant referee on the far side there. All, all came from a, a Ted Hill hard carry and offload, and, and we said before the game he'd do that all day. Um, and a nice break, and good to see Worcester finish that one off, albeit a bit strangely. They've left a lot of points out there today. This scoreboard doesn't reflect how hard some of those players have worked. Um, they need to find the formula to get across that try line because some of their play getting there is superb. It's just it's just those final inches to get over the line. So Finn Smith, the youngster, has the final say, and he does ensure that Worcester narrow the gap to something the right side. 50 points. Ollie Slightholm certainly, in terms of the final analysis and the scoreboard, the greatest contributor for Northampton.